guys, welcome to today's issue of Burner Brothers. We got, uh, man, we were whipped. We had a rough week, a lot, a lot of hours last week, wasn't it? Yes. A lot of hours, but uh, we're gonna get some filming done for you, throw you in on the con a uh, little bit of conversation. We've already, today, picked up uh, probably, I don't know how many pieces of jewelry, gold and silver jewelry, and a lot. A lot, we've, got, we've gone through a lot of that. We'll try and share you a little, show a little bit of that with you. We've got a, uh, a really cool call we're gonna go on. Uh, Duffner and Kimberly Lamp, some other stuff in there too. Uh, sounds like a really big time deal. So, anyways, uh, we're gonna try and take you get some footage of some of that stuff too. And uh, yeah, welcome to the day. First sold item uh, I'm showing you today here. This is really cool. String art with the parrots, fifty dollars. And look how that is made. That's all strings back and forth on nails. That's pretty incredible. Shadow box frame, cool piece. Another good buy, a Knowles California piece for $17. Two items were, or th this gentleman that sells out this booth, everything's $10. And so he's got a watch and he's got a miniature camera at uh, $10 each. Nice piece of Moorcraft down here, Moorcroft down here on the bottom for $95. Uh, here's like a Nippon uh, hat pin holder. This one's priced at $45. The Nippon miniature back here is priced at uh, $45. This Nippon piece is at $24. Just an interesting group. Here's a $15 Nippon piece. A nice little hand-painted windmill. All sold. There you go. Some of this vintage clothing that sells, I'm shocked at. There's uh, Just because so much of it does sell, but that's a $50 uh, jean jacket that's really cool. There's an $8 scarf. Dollar aluminum colander. And on the uh, shelf right beside it, we've got a $95 butter churn. It's a Montgomery Ward red handled butter churn. Same box right here beside it. We've got a $30 glass mold and then an $8.50 butter pat. Like a piece of Pyrex sold for $8. Morning wear, a five liter covered pot for 29. Here's an interesting Delft, uh, $4.95 on the Delft vase. It's got some nice age to it. This piece of Delft here is $4. And a pair of Delft figurines, uh, all in the same, same bin here, $9, all sold. Here's an interesting student lamp in the back. That's uh, priced at $75. It's got the pin holder here, the adjustable shade on there. That's that's fun. A beautiful piece of Weller, $85 in this old bin. These are Fire King in the green color. They're $6 each, sold. Best of Cars record, $29.95. Here's another record for $7. And then we have another one back here for $9. All right, so Josh and I are just showing up here at the house call we're gonna go on. Um, again, this is one of our, our dealers that picks stuff for us. He's gotten to a couple of states and it sounds like some really good stuff. So I'll try and do a little video if I can. Uh, we'll see what happens in here. But uh, pretty excited about it. Yeah, it should be some really good stuff. Yeah, he said he had a lot of gold. There's a Duffner and Kimberly lamp that we're looking at. There is a Gibson Sterling guitar. Light, or a Gibson yeah, guitar. Playing some guitar. Yeah. And yeah. Dad tuned that up for us. Have Dad tuned it up. He's got one finger short, you know. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so ever Dad since had that, a finger get cut off in a door <laughs> one time. So, yeah, playing the guitar is a little look, different for him It's now. been a little different. He's been getting better at it, but he's definitely changed a little bit. Uh, All I'll right, tell listen. you about that story sometime. I actually had to go pick his finger up and take it to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad uh, it's the uh, truth whatever well, it happens well, i didn't expect us to go that way but <laughs> house call turns a finger missing uh, all right guys we'll talk to you in a bit all right so we're looking here we got a set of sterling flatware that's a pretty fun set a lot of pieces to it so i'm sitting here in this house and this is a uh, duffner and kimberly and it's signed uh it's signed right up here in the base Right up there is a signature, if you can see it. Uh, absolute stunning Duffner and Kimberly. We had a lamp auction one time where we were selling lamps like this, and they were bringing uh, anywhere from a $6,000 to $12,000 range. This one here, right out of the house again. Um, great, great shade. It's got all original parts and pieces everywhere. It's got the hearts on the top. Uh, I'm guessing this is going to be that same kind of range uh, by the time we're done getting it up at auction. Really interesting piece of tramp art. Um, fun, fun piece. And then here's another piece of tramp art. This one here has got a Xenia. No, this is a Kiner and Graham and Company, 1904. Photograph in it, just a really fun tramp art frame. Powder horn in this collection is absolutely stunning. Uh, this is as good a powder horn as all the, the Bruce Knight ones that just sold. Um, 
absolutely great, and we think it's American. It's got a ship here, which appears to have an American flag at the top of it right here. But cool piece. I love the owls. Look at the owls in this. This stunning, stunning, stunning piece of folk art. Really, really hard to find. This is really cool. This is an American presentation a goblet to Major Charles Henkel, St. Thomas, 1857. U.S. Consult at St. Thomas, 1857, from by the American Merchant and Shipmasters. It's all silver. It's signed. It's New York. Uh, just a really cool uh, piece of American silver. This is a piece of Chinese export uh, silver as well. This is really cool. Look at the writing on the side. Um, just this whole grouping today is just absolutely stunning, absolutely phenomenal. I'm hoping that we can get a deal worked out here and get all this coming up at auction soon. I used to collect these. These are Austrian bronze figures. I used to buy these in Germany. This looks like a Bergman, but uh, really cool Austrian bronze frogs. Absolute stunning piece of Satsuma articulated. Um, just look at the marks on the bottom. This thing is stunning. Circa 1900. Uh, reticulated Satsuma. Attributed to Ry Ryozan. Uh, this, this vase is absolutely stunning. We're just sitting there looking at some comp comparables. And they're anywhere from 1500 to 4000 for vases that are very similar to this one. This is a gorgeous piece. Look at the detailing in this. Stunning piece. Every once in a while, I'll come across a piece of Chinese bronze that you just like, wow, this is a museum quality piece. Uh, right here's one of those. Signatures on it, uh, right here on the inside, all original signature. We believe it to be Qing Lung. Um, great highlights, great, great signature. The work is out of this world. Uh, somebody else had a tag on it at some point. We'll tear all that off so we can get down to the original finish, but um, it says 18th century. On the tag, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. A same collection, check this out. Tiffany and Company signed. Uh, they've got goat heads, goat feet on them, master salts, matching pair. Absolutely out of this world. Wonderful detail. Tiffany and Company. Another really rare piece, a jeweled feather Tiffany Studios lampshade. There's no base with this, but this is fabulous. It's definitely a period piece. Um, it's signed, it's got the signature, it's got your tag, your uh, wire for your tag, your loops right here. Uh, signature, let me see if I can find a signature with you here. Uh, this is just great colors. Uh, right here's your signature tag on the side. It's hard to see it through the video camera, but it is signed right there. And I looked at the work on this shade. And there's the coloring of it with light behind it. Stunning Tiffany shape. So this is another really interesting thing. This is silver. This is, I'm not sure if this is European or where it's made at, but it's got great hallmarks on it. Uh, and look at the workmanship in this piece. Absolutely stunning piece of silver. And there's a matched pair of these. That's pretty cool. Micro mosaic box, or uh, it's just not even a box. It's just a, like a plaque, micro mosaic. This is out of this world. Look at the depth in this thing. It sticks up. It looks like a piece of glass, but it's not. It's stone. It's micro mosaic. Absolutely stunning piece. Cool piece here. This is a Hubley cast iron a golfer doorstop. That's nice. Yeah. Um, the, the lamp. lamp. <laughs> the lamp love, was. I love the Duffner and Kimberly lamp. Um, yeah. I'll be honest with you guys. The lamp. I don't keep a whole lot of stuff, but uh, we had to pay a lot of money for this group, and I'm like, man. I don't know if we're gonna make money or lose money on this group, but the lamp, I couldn't pass it up. It was like, I gotta I got take that lamp with us. And uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna auction it off or if we're, we'll end up, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with the lamp, but it's a gorgeous lamp. Just hope to get it home safe. Just to get it home safe. <laughs> Josh was watching me pack and he's like, whoa, what are you doing? I told he's, him, I said, Jacob, you're packing this cause I'm not gonna be responsible for it. <laughs> <laughs> so he packed up the lamp, the other stuff. No, it was fun. I helped him load it. <laughs> it was really interesting. Uh, again, this this uh, this gentleman, they, they, he just finds really rare stuff for us. Every week we get loads from this guy, and, uh, you know, it's just it's been a fun relationship. Uh, again, and uh, he called me up. What do you call us? 1130 today? Yeah. 1130 today and said, hey, you need to come to Columbus. I got a load for you. And so whenever he calls, day or night, like, I just, I just take off. And uh, 
he's always got great loads and every once in a while one he's always got stuff that i love coming on these because there's probably 20 items that he educated me on i had no idea about them yeah i mean wasn't I, that I bronze and like that br that bronze sensor that was absolutely fabulous uh it, really early bronze it's got uh it, there was actually a wood wood lid made for that probably 150 200 years after it was made and, and we'll, we'll put the wood lid with it but that the uh the bronze itself the chinese sensor we will uh that's it, one of those pieces gorgeous. that if you didn't know what it was or for me yeah if if, if i saw it i don't know that i would buy it um, just because lack of knowledge on knowing what that piece was, um, but seeing it and learning about it, that's really cool. Yeah. And I mean, I had to step up. It was, uh, you know, I always, I always, um, cost average. A lot of people call it cost averaging. I always look at a, a load as a load. I got a couple really good buys and I really paid a lot of money for a few things. And my goal is that as a group, it makes money. I'm not going to make money on everything we bought. We'll, we'll lose money on some, uh, that sensor specifically. I think I, I paid 2000 for it. Was it? It was a lot was, of money. I think it was, it was 2000. A, um, it's but one of those things I looked at and was like, oh my gosh, I would have never dreamt it was, <laughs> you know, worth that type of money. We'll, we'll see where it we go. It looks really then. cool. It's just 2000s a lot. You know, that's a, it's a lot of money. That's next level. Well, you know, and the only reason that we step up on some of those things is uh, I've got really great uh, collectors for Asian antiques. Yeah. Uh, you know, and so hopefully one of them will, uh, you know, uh, or maybe more than one will step up and it'll it'll do well for us at auction. But yeah. uh, it'll sell, you know, yeah. if it's 500 or 5,000, um, you know, it'll go. The most... And the, the most, age on, a lot of the Asian stuff, the age on it is, blows me away. Yeah, I mean, 300, 400 years yeah. old. Oops. There's that load. There's that lamp sliding. <laughs> Had to, didn't see that red light not. coming. <laughs> well, but yeah, it, I mean, it's almost like you had a couple hundred years on the Asian. Yeah, and then it's, think about that, the, the, the uh, Tiffany shade. That was gorgeous. That was beautiful. The separate shade. There was no base with it. And uh, he, he told me about this shade probably six months ago. And he said, I've been trying to find a base somewhere that would look good with it. I, I can't find one. Um, and he said, today is time. If you want to buy the shade, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add it to the price and... I couldn't say that. When he no. said it, I was like, here we go. <laughs> here we go. going to buy the shade. He, he knows my weakness. You know, a lot of people have this chocolate weakness and <laughs> sweets. I, mine's Tiffany shades. Like, when I see one, it's like, okay, I got I to gotta buy that one. But, you know, as we've been we've been blessed to be able to just but, continue to yeah, buy and sell like that. It's been, it's been crazy. Own, like, signature on it. And, uh, yeah, it's signed. It's right. You can just feel it. That's One thing I've learned with Tiffany is that if you're questionable about it, it's probably not right. The, the fakes are so good every time i've had a really good piece it's just been like oh this one it, it just if this one's right you know you can just tell i mean and there's obviously you're looking for lots of little little things when you're looking at a tiffany shade you know uh is there is there a little rattle in the glass what is it what does the glass look like in the right color of tiffany for glass has it got good patina on it is the bronze in good shape you know all of all of those sorts of things um you know you're looking at as you see the shade holding up the light see what it looks like now you talked through. about the hoop uh, yeah, for, the little hoop. That's for a tag. And that was yeah, and that was something I didn't. I had no idea. Yeah, that little re the, the tag holder on the inside of those. Yeah. And now a good fake will have a tag holder like that. Um, we our our most expensive Tiffany lamp that we sold at auction. We we sold a collection for a, for another gentleman, and Josh. I think it was like uh, it was up in Cleveland, Ohio. Do you remember? We held we had the Tiffany lamp auction up there. Um, we 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 were at the auctioneers in the auction. We advertised it, sold it for them. Uh, it was not our collection, but we sold it. I think it was a hundred and. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be wrong on this. this is an estimate it was around 150 160 thousand we sold a Tiffany for wow. lamp for so uh, on some of that that really rare Tiffany like the the prices are up there and we've sold a lot of Tiffany lamps from five thousand to thirty thousand over the years but this is one of those loads it's like this is a premium load um, you know we don't we don't get into a lot of loads like this that are just this high end of straight through every single item in this grouping is like this uh, and it's a fun group so it's going to go up for auction on burners.com. Uh, yeah, the silver. silver was another. Well, there's so many more pieces of silver we didn't get, uh, we didn't show yet. I might, I might try and unbox this stuff here on the way back. If we get, if we get home in time, we'll go ahead and unbox. If not, then I'll close the video out. But uh, if I can unbox it all and show you guys again the close-ups of it, this is some really great stuff. And then it goes. But we we bought a Navajo jewelry collection earlier today, um, and we bought the uh, a gold gold coin collection a couple days ago. So all of those items are going to go into this auction coming up. It's going to be a, a really high-end auction. Uh, you have to go to the burners.com website to bid on it though, the B-E-R-N-E-R-S.com. There'll be two two links there to catalogs, um, but straight, fresh stuff, guys. Um, that's what we'd like to have, you know, right in the home, uh, starting it's everything out. It's good stuff. This is the, 
very very nice stuff top tier top tier collection some went away our faces look hot normal again <laughs> <laughs> i don't know it's been one of those days uh, i think the heart's still busy i hope i hope we'll get there it's all packed packed full <laughs> packed full go help them wrap stuff yeah all right well guys we'll we'll continue on all right we'll all right, so Josh and I, you guys have been with us the whole time. We just got back here to the heart. So, Harry, how's the heart been today? I, I've been, been gone all day. It's been steady. All day. It's, is it, we're Sunday here. This is Sunday. And uh, mm -hmm. well, anything interesting, Sal? So? Uh, we had several pieces of furniture left today. Nice. Um, some a big green sideboard. Okay. A big green sideboard. A big, a big one, huh? Yeah. Big, oh, that's fun. That's and fun. Some other furniture. It looks like there's a good crowd here still. Yeah, still. And it's it's uh, five o'clock and we still a lot of stuff in bins over there. Yeah, when we pulled in, the parking lot was full and it's five o'clock and I thought, wow, they yeah. must have had a pretty pretty busy day then. Yeah, been. Well that's cool. Well, we're happy with what we got today. What'd you get? Uh you're familiar with Duffner and Kimberly yeah. lamps. I got a wonderful Duffner and Kimberly layup. We got a Tiffany uh, I mean, oh, sign. Me. Sign is absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. He's a lamp collector right here. So, so no, we got some really cool lamps, some silver. Uh, just, a, I mean, it was like one of those deals where you, when you get done, it's like, wow, we just had the opportunity to buy that. That's wow. really good stuff. Wow. So, good so yeah, it, it was fun. Uh, we always end up with good stuff. Well, we try. <laughs> Not everything <laughs> all the time, but we, we do get a lot of fun stuff. Yeah. Well, let's go check out some sold bins. Hey, we're back here to the heart and here's some more sold bins. So uh, here's a $5 uh, soda mint sample bottle here. Look at this stack of cast iron. I gotta show you this. This is this is interesting always to see the cast iron. So first piece right here, priced out at $30 on the small. This is like a graduating set they've put together here. So we got 30, we've got 39, we've got 45, and 57 so there you go they start right there they're wagner's uh looks like mostly wagner and that's the price range sold right beside it is a 65 dollars aluminum cooker sold all right here's some more uh, fiesta pieces here i don't know how much they sell these for let's take a look at the sticker 15 dollars each on the tumblers and then a whole group of longaburger baskets here uh, and some other miscellaneous items so there's a $34 school, school bell in there. Uh, the baskets look like they're about $20 each for most of them. Another longer burger in a different area, and this one's priced at uh, $25, I think it said. Yeah, $25 on this one. Here's a little green glass pitcher. I don't know, a Kiwana maybe or uh, something like that. But it's priced out at uh, $2 on that one. There's a good buy, $2. Man, what a buy. Okay, gingerbread man blow mold. That's fun, $85 on the gingerbread man. He's cool. Sold. Here's the big green painted sideboard that sold. That's going out. Probably that was so popular to do. What was that like the late '60s, early '70s? I believe to repaint everything green like that. It's funny when we were kids, we used to have to strip that green paint off, and now it's popular to be painted again. Everything goes in a cycle. Hey guys, so I'm here in uh, at the auction house in Donaldsville, and. Uh, I just unloaded my car from the estate that we took you with us on. The, uh, the, you know, that's not really an estate, but a lot of the stuff came out of an estate. Anyways, the collection my friend picks for us, he got us a bunch of stuff. Coming outside, man, I tripped and fell um, with one of the boxes, and we have a couple wounded soldiers. Um, kind of upset about it, but it happens sometimes. Let me show you what we did. So these two guys here are Staffordshire parts now. They're not complete. And then there's some one of our cups from that big set, that Moser set broke. But uh, yeah, that's what happened. Uh, it wasn't as bad as it could have been. I could have been carrying the Tiffany lamp or something like that. But there was a big ice ice clog. Oh, and then I still I'm still finding this one box here that I that I fell with. Ah, uh, oh, this is sad. It was all the Staffordshire, and uh, here's another one. Blew it out. Man, I know better than that, but just it fell right down on the ground. I fell, the box went. Uh, it was a mess. Uh, it is icy out here still with black ice, and I hit a clog of a big bottle that had frozen up, like a, like emptied out a bottle. It was crazy. Um, but it was just, thankfully, minimal in comparison to what all I got. It was just the one box. But I hate to ever see anything like that. But guys, hey, look, accidents do happen. Uh, I do want to show you, though, a few more of the things that we picked up out of there. Plus, I want to see if they're good still or not. So, uh, watch this. Okay, so I'm going through that box that I fell with, and I'm just going to see see what else might or may not be damaged. This is in good shape. It's silver. Uh, this is great. So, this is a piece of sterling. It's got an initial B in the background. It's English silver. It's hallmarked up here. 
And I did not look up the marks on this to see uh, who, who made it yet, but it's definitely a 19th century. It looks, appears to be anyways, uh, 19th century. It is Liverpool, uh, just gorgeous silver charger. So that's uh, this, this box here is kind of unboxing what possibly might be broken. I'm not, I'm not quite sure, um, you know, the whole box fell and this piece thankfully is good. Okay, so I got a good piece of Staffordshire out of there. That's good news. Um, so there's two, so far, two, two good pieces of Staffordshire that I got picked out of there. And then what, what broke was the other, the cup for this is an incredibly rare Moser, uh, all gilt decorated with the ruby and the gold, uh, cut glass, cups and saucers and a tea set. And it's missing one cup now. Um, so we're gonna just keep going, see, hopefully there's nothing else in here. This is cool, I'm glad this one did not break. I really like this piece a lot. Uh, this is a Wilton dog, uh, signed Wilton on the back, Staffordshire, uh, 19th century dog. It is still in good shape, that is good news. Um, thankfully, thankfully this was a, a box with a bunch of the silver in it. So here's the Russian, uh, not Russian, I'm sorry, the Chinese silver piece that we had shown you at the house. Um, Let's see, is this one good still? Okay, thankfully, good. Staffordshire piece, still in good shape. Uh, just really cool 19th century Staffordshire. Put that one down. Um, let me keep digging. Uh, the Chinese bronze incense burner is still good. No damage on that. That was wrapped well enough, thankfully. Um, nothing wrong with that piece. Let me set it off here to the side. The pair of uh, silver candlesticks. These are absolutely stunning stunning silver sticks. They're in the bottom of this box. Uh, let me keep digging here, see if I can find the second one. Um, where is the second one? Hope it didn't like fall out of my box. It's not in this box. I gotta find the second one. Um, well, that's the first one. This is a pair, so hope it's not on the street outside. It was dark out. I thought I got everything picked up, but I'm gonna unbox this box and I'm gonna go look. Um, Another piece of silver, it's in good shape still. That's good news. Uh, same box, uh, cast iron, Hubley, um, golfer, good news, that's in good shape. Um, and then a soapstone piece uh, that is in good shape still. There's nothing wrong with it, let me set that down. Don't wanna have any more incidents today. I'm gonna see the last piece in there. Yeah, this is, this is in good shape still. So this is what it is, a piece of soapstone, Chinese soapstone, um, no damage on it. So it looks like we just lost those few little pieces. Um, well, we got, a, we got a person that we can get those to. Hopefully they can make something out of it and uh, make some make-do pieces out of it or something. Let's go, I gotta find that other silver stick. Okay, it was in the other silver box. So uh, I didn't show you these yet, but this is a pair of Danish modern sterling candlesticks. They are signed, they are Denmark. A uh, pair of candlesticks. Here's another bronze, Austrian bronze bird I hadn't shown you yet. Uh, came out of the same collection here. So let's set those to the side. Let me get this to the side, this to the side. This box I didn't drop, so everything is still wrapped proper in this one. Um, the, the micro mosaic, that's absolutely stunning. I showed you at the house. Uh, let me keep digging here. You did not see this piece yet, but this is just a really incredible piece of cheese. Um, this is this is a cheese slicer in the form of a saw. It's got bone handles on it. It's got all your silver marks and maker's marks up here on the top and a nice little fitted bag that goes with it. Uh, let me set that down here. Show you a couple other things while I'm looking for that silver, or pulling that silver stick out. These are cool. Uh, Sterling Master Salts with Dolphin Base. Absolutely stunning and it's a pair. I mean, how often do you find those? Absolutely gorgeous pieces of silver. This piece here, I believe was Tiffany, yes. Another Tiffany and Company, uh, Sterling Silver Creamer. Tiffany and Company, great marks. Uh, you see the mark right there. Um, this, this piece here is the Russian, I believe this was the Russian, I don't have my glasses on, but I'm 90% sure that's uh, 84 Russian on that, and that's like a three-piece tea set. Uh, that's part of that's that's a, that was part of that group. A couple other small pieces of Tiffany, little Tiffany barrel here. That's kind of fun. It's sterling, and yep, here's the Russian teapot. 
nice form on that too. Uh, marks are on the bottom. Set that down. I'm getting closer to my candlestick. Here's another Tiffany piece. This one is a chocolate pot. Um, just really gorgeous Tiffany and Company. Look at the work on the base on that. Absolutely stunning Tiffany and Company. Got the handle on the side uh, and the marks are somewhere down there. There they are. Tiffany and Company marks. Put that to the side. Yeah, can't get to the candle quite yet. Hold on. Uh, Tiffany and Company again. There's a double handled sugar bowl. That is cool. Here is the second of the Jensen pieces. Uh, or not Jensen. I don't think they're Jensen, but they're Danish. Uh, I gotta look up the maker on these. Absolutely stunning silver candlesticks. Uh, oh, this is great. This is a really good piece. So check it out. It's got birds on each side. It's cut crystal in the middle or a crystal, crystal insert. I don't think it's cut. No, that's molded. So molded basket that goes inside of the silver and it's got the Minerva heads on it. Just stunning master salt with the double eagles. And it's got the spoon that matches. Really cool. And here is a gorgeous period bronze. Uh, I wanna say period, I'm thinking this is around 1900 or so. But it's, it's uh, Asian, I'm not sure if that's uh, China. I don't have my glasses on again right now and at, at, at the house. I didn't look at it in detail enough to see if that's Japanese or Chinese. And I may not be able to read it if I did see it correctly. So uh, we do have that. Um, hold on. Really cool. Now this looks like, uh, appears to be maybe for Matchbook or something in there. Somebody um, might put a pocket watch in that, but I, I, think, I think it's made for just like holding a piece of something else. But it's all sterling, and it's just fabulous, fabulous work in that. Um, signed on the bottom, it's sterling, it's numbered. And now we have a pair of our candlesticks. So this one is in good shape. I can get rid of the box that all is in. And here they go. This is the pair. Guys, this, this whole load is this way. I've got about another seven or eight boxes. Everything is this quality. So burners.com, B-E-R-N-E-R-S.com. You'll be able to preview these items on our next weekly upload, which will come out on Friday. But every Thursday we have a sale, and every Monday we just started up this coming week, which will be today. Uh, this video you'll be watching. So this morning we would have already had the auction with 500 pieces of jewelry. And then next week's Monday auction has a lot of coins in it. There's silver. Uh, there's gold coin. Uh, a lot of gold coins in it too. We've got just a fun group. The next month, you're going to continue to see just great stuff coming through. We're going to be moving back out to the Antique Center, hopefully in about four weeks. Um, so thank you for watching at Burner Brothers today. And we had a couple down pieces, but uh, not as bad as it could have been. I'm glad when I looked through the box, there was uh, that was it on the damage. So uh, blessings, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to both channels at Burner Brother Antiques and at Heart of Ohio Antiques.